You're listening to Gigi Radio, the one and only Christian radio show for teen girls, with your hosts, Esther and Steph. Good morning, girls. We hope your day has started wonderful. It's Esther here. Hey, girls, it's Steph, and it is Tuesday, second day of the week. Now, I actually have a little fun fact today, um, and it's, it's about... The Eskimos. (laughs) So apparently it is said that um, when the Moravian missionaries went to preach the gospel to the Eskimos, they found no word in the Eskimo language um, for forgiveness. Mm. So the word forgiveness doesn't exist Exist. in the language. The only word they could find um, to, I guess, make a beautiful significance close to it is not being able to think about it anymore. Oh, okay. Yeah. So not being able to think about it anymore is one word. In the Eskimo language, I'm not going to even try to say it, but I will spell out this word for you. I double S U M A G I J O U J U N G N A I N E R M I K. Oh my word. That is one word, and that means not being able to think about it anymore. Oh, it's like the whole alphabet put together. I know. I don't. I, yeah, I wouldn't know where to begin. But that's um, it was so interesting. Wow, that is so interesting. I'll be um, I'd love to hear what it what it sounds like. Yeah, I wonder oh if you my could goodness. Google maybe pronounce. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so this week we did um, a mic room, and the question that I asked was actually. Oh, really tough. For me, it was tough. Yeah, it was tough as well for me. Yeah. And some of the answers that um, that we got, and especially one of the girls, she was very deep. Mm. And it was like, wow, <laughs> because you'll know why and you'll know which one it is. But um, yeah, so what is the question? Ooh, let's see. Let's hear our mic rhyme. Okay, so today's question is quite tough. Um, Would you forgive someone who has killed your family or a family member? Um, I feel like it will take time, but eventually, probably. Okay, wow. I would try my hardest to, but yeah, I guess I would, but it'd be very hard. Um, well, it depends, like, who it is, I guess, who it is, and like... Um, I don't know. I'll probably forgive them, but I won't look at them the same. I'm um, look at them the same way, I guess. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. Thank you so much. Okay, so today's question is: Would you forgive someone who killed your family or a family member? Yes. Yes. Just like that, without thinking. Uh, yeah, I'd have to. Yeah. Why? Why do you think you have to? Um, because I've come to a point in my relationship with God where my my job as a steward um, and as a Christian is to betray his traits and he forgives me for everything that I do and he sees sin no different to the other. So if it's sin, it's sin, but he forgives it the same way and at all levels. Wow, beautifully said. Thank you. Very tough question. Oh, my goodness. Um, but did you hear how the last girl answered saying that, you know, Jesus expected her to do that because he forgave her sins? I know. And I was like, yes, but as human beings, I mean, I... I can't. I, I, yeah, that's really difficult question. Yeah, it's very hard and it's not something that I would say, oh, yeah, of course. It's not what I'm feeling. I'll yeah. be like, uh, no. <laughs> yeah. But... Yeah. But today's devotional is. Oh, just yes. That. Let's get into our devotional, girls. Today's devotional is written by Donald and Vesta Mansell. The meaning of forgiveness. In 1946, Ceslo Golewski was a member of a young outlaw gang that ransacked the German countryside. On one occasion, the gang gunned down nine members of the Hamelin family in cold blood. Wilhelm, the father, was the only survivor. He bore the scars of four bullet wounds. Eventually, the gang was arrested and Golwelski was tried, convicted and sentenced to 20 years in prison. At the end of his term, 
the state didn't know what to do with him. He had no kin and nowhere to go. When Hamelin, a Christian, heard about this, he went to the civil authorities and asked that Golwelski be released to his custody. He wanted to adopt him as a son. In his request, he wrote, Christ died for my sins and forgave me. Should I not then forgive this man? What a magnanimous spirit. Wow, I have no words. Let's come back after this song. Yes. Rebecca St. James singing Battle is the Lord's. How appropriate is that? I know. <laughs> I just realized that too. But I think um, that is you have to be so connected to God that you are able to forgive these people who have hurt your family. He saw them get killed. He was shot by them and then I'll adopt you as a son. Oh, my word. I can't even comment. No. <laughs> oh. So, girls... Yes, we do forgive people. We do have to forgive because it eats you away yes. if you don't. Yes. Um, and only God, in all honesty, is the only one that can help 
each of us. Isn't it that saying that says hating someone is like drinking poison and expecting them to die, even though mm. you're drinking, like that hatred eats you. And it's true, but that's just so hard. I can't even imagine it. Like my no. mind doesn't grasp it. But I am pretty sure that um, there's something in the Bible about this, isn't there, Esther? Mm. So in Matthew 18, 21 to 22, we have Peter who came to Jesus and he said, Then Peter came to him and said, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but 77 times. <laughs> I love that because no one's going to actually start keeping track. Oh, well, let's see my tally. I already forgave you. No, 69 times. You've got a certain amount of times left. So I guess and, what God is yeah. saying is you can't count it. You can't. You just and have I think to forgive. 70 times 7, <laughs> something like oh. that. So it's important for us to forgive. And I know that sometimes people have hurt you really bad or have hurt us really bad. And forgiving them is a way of giving it to God. So it's not eating you inside. But it doesn't mean that you have to become best friends or like the story in our devotional, you don't have to adopt them as children. No, no. But it just means that God wants us to be free. That's it. And there's something I read once that said, um, forgiving them is not excusing them. Like no. some people have been very, very hurt um, um, emotionally yes. and physically. And you're not excusing what they did, but you're freeing yourself from that bitterness so you can move forward. That's right. Exactly right. So I hope, girls, that um, this helps you. And anything that you have in your heart, write it down and give it to the Lord so that he can help you forgive this person who has um, hurt you or a family member. Yeah. Yeah. Well, girls, that's all from us. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow uh, for our devotional. And it's actually part one of our part two, of our two-parter. Can I say that? Is that part one, part two? Does that make so. sense? Yeah. Anyway, tomorrow's story is part one. Of part two. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's get ready for prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for another day you've given us. Please help us get through the rest of this week. We have a few days left. And Lord, please open our hearts and minds to be able to forgive those. Let us have your love, your mercy, so that we can live freely, Lord, in you and in the forgiveness you offer us. Thank you so much, Lord. In your name. Amen. This has been Gigi Radio signing out.